other. And I'm gonna lift this up so you can see how it looks like the faces. They have these carvings on them. And the idea of these carvings is so that anything that is stuck in between can have a little bit more friction so that it can be milled a little bit more efficiently. So I'm gonna place this back here again. So the one that goes on top is actually dynamic and moves, but the one on the bottom is gonna stand still, like it's not gonna move. And the idea is that you're gonna turn the upper stone against the lower one, so anything that is caught in between can be milled properly. And we know which one goes on top because it has like this donut hole right here on top. And that's where we're gonna place whatever it is that we wanna milk. So this stick is just gonna help me turn the upper stone against the lower one. And that's basically how it goes. So you can come a little bit closer, you can kind of tell that the final product is still very coarse. I mean, this is not um, corn flour still. So if we are, yeah, it's a good observation. So if we wanted to have like really fine corn flour, we just have to like place it once again in the middle and continue the process until we get the right consistency. So this was very labor intensive, you could say, <laughs> on a household scale. Uh, yeah, and this is actually the children's jobs. There you go. <laughs> um, I had people come right. in from tours that when they see this, they like a big smile comes to their face. They're usually like older people. And when <laughs> I ask them like if you want to share, they go like, yeah, I just have like this really good memory of coming to my grandparents' house when I was a kid and just them telling me like, oh, Fulanito, me, I'm so glad that you're here. Come <laughs> help me mill some corn. <laughs> For them, it's like a very alive memory, right? Like, like you know, something that they used to do in their grandparents' house.